Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Zah back at you anyways, man. Let me just get into what I wanted to talk about. Sorry if the light's all in my shit, but anyways. Uh, you know, uh, a while ago I had got a message from a few people. What, it was Blue Magic was one of them. And, uh, and a few other homies. And they were telling telling me basically the whole thing about uh, Monster Cody. And I had seen a video a long time ago where he did actually, in fact, disrespect the homies. You know what I mean? And it was kind of like one of those things that was I found comic. At the same time, I understood. And, and, and not necessarily the fact that he dissed it, but the fact that when you've been incarcerated as much as this dude, you're going to be warring a whole hell of a lot. And if anybody has ever uh, listened to Monster Cody as far as like, not even listen, but as far as like read his book, then you pretty much could tell what type of mindset this dude was on. He's always been... Uh, what people would consider a writer. It's like it's always been represented. So it's always been a, a, a certain train of thought. Put in work. Put in work. Put in work. Put in work. So when I first seen that video. I was more like. You know what I mean? It, it, and, and don't get me wrong. Like when I seen it. I was a little bit mad. But I mean. Th that's with anybody that represents a certain thing. And somebody uh, goes out of their way to disrespect it. But I could understand where his angst is coming from. It's kind of like the same uh, with homies, when when we're when we've warred with Crips and and blood so long, but mostly with Crips, we've warred with the Crips a lot, just due to the fact that their car is a lot bigger uh, than a lot of cars in prison, and they like to kick up shit. So, you know, and then plus you've seen the shit like shit that uh, uh, come in from the the streets as far as like back in the days, which was Long Beach, and then but before that it was another Crip gang. So it's it's always been some type of ink. So I, like I could ex I expected uh, uh, somebody of his caliber to say something like that, but it's not really to uh, reflect on the past. The whole thing. What I want to say, the fact that I've always considered this dual monster Cody a writer, and the fact that he's always been uh, straight out about his shit has made him the type of person he is. But. What really made it made me respect him was when I seen uh, Kev Max video. I haven't really watched so many Kev Max video in a minute. I've been pretty much doing my own thing, but I, somebody told me to watch this video when Blue Magic shot it to me. Shout out to you. Uh, I, I chose not to even address it because I figured that it was gonna be one of those videos. Another dude disrespecting the homies, and uh, you know what I mean. And it's just rattling on about some shit, but. You know, when when another when another person shot me that video, which is I think the homie from Santa Maria, he was like, hey, check this out. Uh, it, it ain't what you think. You know what I mean? Look around this time and you'll see that what he said was feed me. And I was like, OK, so I sat back and, and, and I decided to watch the video. Like I said, I avoided in the first place. I know I was going to get mad and come on here and just be on some on some bullshit. You know what I mean? But uh, as I sat back and I really watched the video. Uh, I really got uh, a greater respect for this dude in particular, and who knows? He could just be doing it for the camera. But when, if, it, like I said, if anybody has ever like read anything about Monster Cody and the way his attitude, I don't think it was just for the cameras. I think he righteously got to an age where he feel like the the he respect the cause. See, a lot of people can say what they want about the homies. The homies take advantage. The homies use utilize people as pawns. But at the end of the day, when you uh, go to jail, you're all used as pawns. It don't matter which car you run with. You, you will you will be utilized to do what you need to do when push come to shove. So if uh, somebody needs to get smashed over here, and you were a rider on the street, and you came to prison and wanted to proclaim that same thing, instead of learning from. Uh, your mistakes and just not going to jail if you put yourself in a position to where you're gonna get used as a pawn unless you uh, are somebody of a higher status which if you ain't a certain status then you're just considered like everybody else but like I said when I seen this part and I seen that that part of the interview where Monster Cody reflected on what he said in the past and and basically uh, didn't go into detail because he, he really didn't have to explain himself. That's some way he felt back in the days. And he decided to uh, not necessarily change his ways. But he's seen it on a gra on a grander scale. See, that's the thing. When it comes to like organizations and shit like that. You know what I mean? 
uh, the Crips, they have, they, they in, in, in a lot of sense, even though they're broken up in cars, they do have pretty much of, of a tight-knit group and they run their shit kind of tight. Like I've seen loose and I've seen them run their shit tight and, and, and people be on point. See, that's all I'm, I'm really talking about. Like when I, when, when I see things, it, it's, it's better for me to jump on a video and give people their, their respect than to get on here and uh, disrespect them. And, and really, I ain't the type to really di disrespect individuals. I just tell them about themselves and just try to tell people to refrain from saying certain things about my car and uh, just my homies in general. But you know what I mean? It's, it's always refreshing when I can see somebody reflect on a mistake that they made in the past and not dig too much into it, but just move on. And I think a lot of people are starting to catch on to that wave, like the whole thing with Florence and East Coast. A lot of people talk shit and be like, oh, this fool's odd, is sentimental, but it's not. It's just like I, I, I have a respect for an individual that has reached a certain level to where a lot of things that, that happened in the past no longer matter. We have all lost people, whether it's from your hood, whether it's family member, and we've had people take them from us and, 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 and swore to hate them the rest of our life. But when you get to a certain age, you, you start to see that that train of thinking has really got you nowhere. You can only kill so many people and uh, avenge so many people before you yourself become the person uh, that that's being uh, reaped. You know what I mean? As far as like you kill enough people and you become that person with that target on your back and then you become dead and then it's an ongoing cycle. Like I said, I've never jumped on here to try to deter people from gangbanging. What I'm saying is a lot of people are starting to learn that the past is the past and you got to move past it in order to progress. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, how should I say, man? A lot of people, even like with youngsters, you know, a lot of people, the youngsters are going down this road. And for, for the most part, there is a lot of youngsters that just disrespectful and don't really know the, the proper way of, of conducting yourself and going about doing things the right way. Some dudes do it asshole backwards, but for, for the most part, there's a lot of homies out there that got... You know, good holidays, they're really taking care of their family. And they're not on the street. They may not dress like, you know, other people used to dress. They, but they got their own stilo, their, their own way of doing things, their own train of thinking. And, and that's how you start. You got to think uh, for yourself. You can't go because of the masses think like this. So you, you're going to subscribe to that way of thinking. And then be like, you know, uh, now uh, uh, this is what I need to do. Nah, people are thinking not not just with the there it's not a, a a high form of thinking there's no uh, one person that runs the whole thing you know what i mean as far as like well you know so people are starting to think for themselves but the whole thing oh don't mind the, the i broke that because it was <laughs> whatever but that's besides the point all i want to say man is shout out to monster cody man and it's no guarantee that he will always think with that train of thought but for the for right now, do this thinking on a higher level. He's thinking about progression. And like he said, he likes our structure because it's a certain way. And regardless of what people hear, uh, two fives and these fools doing this and they're getting bigger, it don't matter. Uh, let, let, me just, let me just tell you something. That's always been history. The weak will always try to uh, 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 rise up and then eventually get smashed again or they would conform and fall into line. Unfortunately, for the ones that are no longer good, there's nothing you can really do uh, in order to fall back into line. Uh, so, yeah, for the people like, you know, you hear like weird shit, don't, don't believe that, man. The structure is still there and people still think a certain way not everybody has been a puppet their whole life some people just follow the program because that's the program but they still know how to maneuver in certain ways and and, and the whole thing uh like i said with monster cody he had that that was his way of thinking and 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 he was entitled to that form of thinking because when you've been incarcerated that long from YA and all that shit, you learn to war. You learn to hate other races. You learn to to just get yours whenever you can get it. You build up so much angst. Everybody knows juvenile hall was 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 just a thunderdome. That was all fighting. People go to YA. I mean, camp is all fighting. You know what I mean? Occasionally, you might run into enemies that deep and they do some pussy shit and want to pack you out. But for the most part, you're going to get your heads up and you're going to rep your neighbor the way you rep it. You know, when, when, when motherfuckers go to YA, a lot of games, a lot of 
mind shit, a lot of it, you weak or you strong, you level or you not. Like it's just, it's a lot of games in there. So when people come out, they're already used to warring. So when they hit the, when they hit the penitentiary, they got it. They're already on a train of thinking that's like, fuck it, let's just rock. And if you're scared to rock or you do this, you're considered a bitch. You know what I mean? But then when you hit the pen and you see shit, it's a lot different. All I'm saying like this. The shit with Monster Cody, man, respects. You know what I mean? Because there's not a lot of fools that that uh, can reflect on their on their uh, I won't say shortcomings, but can reflect on on shit they said in the past that may have offended other people. Uh, some people are too stubborn to uh, recount the shit they say and and, and actually give particular people uh, you know their respect. You know what I mean? It's it's. The real will always recognize the real, and and regardless of what anybody say, man, you have to be a real motherfucker to go on, you know, basically uh, on a national platform and and tell people that what you said was wrong, and 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 you actually respect uh, the people that you once despised. If you if you notice what he said. It's, it's, it wasn't even about Mexicanos in general. It was about the homies, the Sur, as a group. And that and that tells you right there, that was incarcerated. That's, that was a form of thinking when you're incarcerated. And, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people that have thought like that. How many people have rocked with another group in prison, come out and just despise them? Because you've seen people get hit, you've seen people get hurt, and people have tried to hurt you. So you build up a certain uh, sense of... Uh, Fuck you, you know what I mean? That's all I can really say on that. So, like I'm saying, man, shout out to Monster Cody, man. You know what I mean? It's motherfuckers like that that I, I truly respect that that can turn around their life and just, you know what I mean, really really spit the real and, and, and show motherfuckers that that train of thinking is no longer uh, uh, plausible. It, 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 it only leads to, to more problems. So, you know what I mean? Shout out to Monster Cody. This whole shit, you know what I mean, was just a... Give him there's out there. I'm I'm happier to not have to talk shit to people. Uh, and and, and it's more it's more uh, it, it's better for me to give people their props and really show that I respect cats like that that could turn shit around. You know what I mean? And 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 let it be known for the youngsters that are coming up now, so they don't grow with that same mindset. Even though if you get incarcerated, you're probably gonna have that mindset, but eventually you will grow out, and hopefully you don't make the same mistakes and say things that. That uh, can be detrimental or just put a a, a, a stink eye on you. But anyways, man, on your boy Zod. Spend time if it takes me so long to upload videos. Been doing a lot of shit. But uh, on that note, man, salutes to everybody. Oh, and go check out the, the Hip Hop Podcast. If you want to know what it's about, it's me having a conversation with the homie about the youngsters. And just a few things. But on that note, I'm your boy Zod. Y'all savage, and I'm out this bitch. Ladies.